to talk about um, another one of the large paintings I completed during the 2020 lockdown and this time it's of Miles Davis. Um, I'm very inspired um, particularly by musicians and music in general. Um, if there's a programme on TV or YouTube about any musical subject, you know, I'll be watching it and um, that's where I get my main inspiration from. And this documentary came on um, about Miles Davis and I don't really know much about his music. Um, it's not a genre I'm really that familiar with, but I was pretty much immediately drawn in by the person, the person that he, that he was. And, you know, that's what I found kind of incredibly uh, inspirational. Um, he was apparently, you know, people who were speaking about him said he was, he was a, a very angry and antisocial person. Well, actually they said anti-social, but I'm not going to split hairs o over the Atlantic. Um, and, you know, he, he seemed to be sort of very difficult. Um, but I, I would say it seems to me that kind of, kind of true greatness in, in particularly in an artistic endeavour, well maybe all of them actually, but true, true greatness rarely seems to come from an easy life and I think, you know, without going into great psychological detail, I think, you know, people like to give themselves entirely to whatever endeavour that they've fallen uh, in love with. And yet there was all this beauty inside of him, you know, despite his, his personality and difficulties in the external world. Um, and he was able to express that beauty in his music. Um, all that beauty that he was not able to show as a man, um, it was there nonetheless. And um, all the love that he was very obviously capable of, um, and obviously extremely abundant, um, was directed through his music. So that's really what captivated me, you know, that somebody sort of obviously, you know, been traumatised by life events, um, but has found a way to express beauty um, uh, to such a massive degree that obviously he became, you know, a musician on the world stage, and and his sort of his genius um, endures. Um, I observe with a lot of musicians, um, I mean, the, the best musicians, that once they start to play, they the ego just seems to disappear. I mean, they may have egos, you know, but that's by the by. Really, once they start to play personality of the individual, their sort of ego, quite literally just dissipates and they seem to become one with the instrument and it, and it actually becomes like a really a sort of like a prayer like devotion or communion I would say um, and that's really what was sort of at the core of, of creating this, this portrait here of Miles Davis. Um, I mean, I use a lot of space in my work anyhow, um, but with this portrait, there, there really is a, a massive amount of space, much more space than I, I have previously used. But I think in his case, um, it just seems the right thing to do because well, the image itself, to me, it looks like a prayer. You know, he's lost himself, um, probably with great relief, you know, considering all things. He's lost himself in the making of his music. And, you know, when people do that, you know, they let go of who they are in order to express the beauty 
everything changes around them and you know it really just becomes extraordinarily beautiful and that's really what touched me most of all um, watching this program was that you know how much beauty he was able to express through his music and here you know you can see really in the expression the bliss the, the total bliss um, that he's experiencing in in creating his music and it's it's a, it's there's a great stillness in bliss i think um, and certainly when i when when i watched all the footage you know that's what really stood out for me and in fact i did a couple of other much smaller portraits you know because i really kind of wanted to explore you know his his sort of expression his sort of facial expressions but what he said himself was um all all i wanted to do was communicate what i felt through music and you know what what beauty did come from that Um, technique wise, um, I, I use a lot of grey in my portraits. I find that there's an abundance of colour. I love colour, but for an, uh, an abundance of colour seems to sort of detract from the power of the individual. Um, I don't know really why that is, I haven't figured it out yet. Um, but here, um, there are really no edges to his to his sort of shoulder line and also to his face there. Um, you know, he's very much blended in to the background um, and it sort of has an abstract quality. And certainly the, the trumpet itself is this sort of bright circle, um, which is quite meditative. You know, that the image as a whole really does sort of have that meditative quality and it is a very peaceful still image but that circle right in the center you know the sort of that geometric perfection um, sort of really adds to the the central placement of the figure um, and of course you know in my typical style you know there's a lot of gray black very muted tones but always with a big uh, bold splash of color so i'm going to leave you with a quote i love my quotes <laughs> it's a quote from the man himself and um, i could do an impression of um of his sort of gravelly voice, but I, I think I'll spare you um, hideousness. Unfortunately, his words don't really fit very well with my sort of cut glass British accent, but you know, there we have it. It's that lovely combination of two people. Um, he said, <laughs> um, Creativity and genius in any kind of artistic expression don't know nothing about age. Either you got it or you don't, and being old is not going to help you get it. And I just thought, well, nobody could really have said it better. Thank you, Miles Davis, for all that you gave to the world. I think, you know, as, as humanity, we're, we're very lucky to have these wonderful people come into our lives and share, despite their difficulties, share all that beauty for our enjoyment. Thank you.